The bars are gone, there are no crowded cells, and there are few security guards here to watch your every move. Yet despite the sense of freedom and the second chance society offers to those who break the law, inmates still escape. The pre-release center takes in people like Ricky Hines who have less than a year to go on their parole. Hines is a convicted heroin dealer serving the last leg of a five-year sentence. When he hears about a fellow inmate who escapes, he says he can't blame him. He says it's not arrogant disregard that causes people here to risk an escape. Instead, Hines says it's loneliness. Being deprived so long of so many things, um, liberty, you know, and as far as uh, actual real human relationships, you don't really have a, uh, a chance to really express yourself because of the environment. Escape is a household word here, but this inmate says he won't take the chance. The program has enabled him to secure a new job and integrate back into society. He and other inmates worry about adverse publicity created by the breakouts and the inevitability of a security crackdown, a crackdown they believe isn't fair since they say their freedom's been earned. When inmates escape, it not only affects the prison system, it also affects those who live nearby. The penitentiary and the pre-release center are located adjacent to neighborhoods here on Greenmont Avenue. But residents who live here say they simply accept the breakouts and say it's a way of life. The weathered buildings and sun-baked streets are filled with people who call this neighborhood home. Children roam about freely, and some parents say they aren't letting their youngsters out as much. But other than that, they say there's nothing they can do. And it's really hard to, to, to get people to get involved anyway and, and trying to, you know, do something about it. So that's true. You, know, you, know, you just have to look out for your own. And there are those who aren't as afraid. That's just the way of life. You have to accept it. They don't bother me. The ones out here in the street, they come out here, I talk to all of them. They're still human. Prison officials promise to take greater steps to prevent escapes, but as far as most of these residents are concerned, they don't expect any miracles. Uma Pemiraju, News Scene 2.